How's it going everybody? Giovanni Orlando here and in this video we'll be teaching you about the 74LS02 chipset which is better known as the Norgate. This chipset contains a total of 14 pins where the 7th pin is reserved for the ground and the 14th pin is reserved for the VCC. In it you will find 4 independent gates each of which perform the logic NOR function. The inputs are labeled A and B and the output for each gate is labeled Y. As you will see shortly, the NOR gate is basically an OR gate whose output is then negated. Not to be confused with a NOR gate whose inputs have been negated as would, that would be a NAND gate equivalent instead of a NOR. Now we shall proceed by generating the NOR gate's truth table. As I mentioned previously, we are going to establish the inputs which we will name A and B. We will also create a comments column where we shall present the process that is occurring internally. We shall also make an output column for a variable which we dubbed y. Since we have n equals 2 inputs, using the 2 to the n formula, we calculate that there are a total of 2 to the second power which equals 4 possible combinations or scenarios to handle. The first case is when a equals 0 and b equals 0. 0 or 0 equals 0, and the complement of 0 outputs high. The second case is when a equals 0 and b equals 1. 0 or 1 equals 1, and the complement of 1 outputs low. The third case is when a equals 1 and b equals 0. 1 or 0 equals 1, and the complement of 1 outputs low. And last but not least, the fourth case is when a equals 1 and b equals 1. 1 or 1 equals 1, the complement of 1 outputs low. If you saw the 74LS32 OR gate video that I made, you probably already know this. Otherwise, you can just click on the annotation and it will open it in a new tab. Basically what is happening here is that the OR gate produces an output of 1 or a high if at least one of the inputs is high, anything else will make it produce an output of 0 or low. After getting that OR output value, you apply the NOT operator or the complement in order to produce the NOR gate's final result. Now I shall open a Logisim simulation in order to further prove and demonstrate our truth table. The first thing we will need are two pins, which we will label A and B respectively. This will be facing south, and like I mentioned, the label will be located north. The purpose of this labeling is of course to differentiate and allow us to know what signal comes from which pin. Since we want to test that the NOR is essentially an OR gate followed by a NOT operator, we will use both configurations in order to put our theory to the test and for that we will be using the quad 2 input or as well as the quad 2 input nor for us to be able to keep the simulation as true to life as possible we must make sure that the settings are all as indicated otherwise you might be testing a different chipset coming from the output of the NOR and the OR followed by a NOT will be an exclusive OR which is then negated producing an XNOR behavior. The purpose of doing this is that since the exclusive OR delivers an output of high only when the inputs are different, the exclusive NOR will deliver a high only when the inputs contain the same value. Meaning that if both configurations are truly the same, they will deliver the same result, as you can observe. Using the index finger tool, we will test all four possible cases, since we are dealing with a 2 to the n, which equals four possible scenarios. When both inputs A and B are low, the output from the OR 
is a low as well. Once it passes through the NART, it becomes high. And when we compare with the NOR, it outputs the same result. Meaning the XNOR delivers a high as a value. When A equals low and B equals high, the output from the OR is high. And once it passes through the NOT, it becomes low. Meaning the LEDs from the individual components are gray. And once it passes through the XNOR, the LED from that particular gate remains high. Having A equal to high and B equal to low, once it passes through the OR, the output is a high. And when it passes through the NOT gate, it becomes a low. Since both are the same, again, the XNOR delivers a high. When both inputs A and B are high, the output of the OR is a high, the output from the NOT is a low, as well as the output from the NOR, and when both inputs enter the exclusive NOR gate, the output is high, meaning the LED remains bright red. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. For any comments or questions, you may contact me on the following places, at Twitter, at Giovanni0918, or at Google Plus, at plus Giovanni Orlando i7. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.